Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh and this is David Hi. and Josh. Hi. And David has built some miniature skyscrapers. They're pretty cool. They are really cool, but they're not skyscrapers. David, why don't you tell them about these things? Yeah, they're actually circularized, polarized antennas and they're used for a better FPV experience. For different people flying different things, obviously different antennas are gonna come from that, correct? Exactly. What's the most common antenna that people would get? Uh, this is actually the one you get in your box. From Hobby King, right? From Hobby King, yeah. yeah. It's actually a standard antenna, it's a whip antenna. It only has one active part. It's the actually, it's pretty wide band, but it's made to work bad on all frequencies, more more or less. It's it covers not, it covers the whole dynamic of frequencies, just not as good as it could be. It's, yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's a compromise. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Cool. So maybe something real close range, a small park flyer or something, something that's not aerobatic, definitely. Yeah. To get proper range, you need a tuned antenna. Okay. So when you're talking about a tuned antenna, you're talking about you have a specific frequency, and the antenna is specifically matched to that frequency to be optimum at that. Exactly. It's made to resonate at the right frequency and get the best performance. Very cool. You said this was a circular polarizer, right? Exactly. Now that is a linear, right? That's right. Why don't we talk about linear? Yeah. Sure. The linear type antennas uh, put out a sine wave, so to speak. But what happens is one antenna uh, transmits it and okay. the other one receives it. Okay. It's all, it's all fine, uh, but when you bank your plane, you get out of polarization, you get cross polarization. And the, the area where the other antenna is gonna receive is so tiny, just gonna lose all reception. Gotcha. Basically guys, in a world world uh, circumstance, you're flying away, here's the one on the ground, here's the one in the airplane, everything seems good as you're flying away. Until you, you bank. Until you bank. And everything seems good, you're all happy and you bank and then it freaks you out because your picture goes bye-bye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what you say, it so, goes down to two or something? It disappears all to, all, almost completely. You lose like 26 decibels. Wow. That's like a lot. So that's not a good thing. But these work in ground applications. That's why they're so common. They, they use it on Wi-Fi and everything because normal things don't fly. Yeah, uh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. It'd take, it take a tornado or an earthquake to yeah. really mess up your interference in that application. So okay. what would be the answer to that problem then? Uh, circular polarized antennas. Okay, and that's what these guys are going towards. Exactly. Very cool. They're much, much better for FPV flying. Uh, this is a circular polarized antenna which you actually put on your plane. Okay. It's a skew planer antenna. This actually puts out a corkscrew of the signal. Okay. And there's two types that's right hand polarized and left hand polarized. Okay. Okay. So when a right hand polarized uh, signal hits an antenna that's made for a left hand polarized, it's gonna have the 26 decibels of loss. So okay. what's great about that is whenever the signal bounces on anything, it gets distorted. But when the, the circular polarized antennas, yeah. where, with the signal, it bounces, it changes its polarization. It starts rotating in the other direction. And the antenna is not gonna pick that up. It's gonna get 26 decibel loss. So, so the signal, the clear signal, is gonna have a much stronger reception. It's gonna just take the good stuff. So if you're flying around things like metal objects and things are bouncing our house, things are bouncing all around, you're not gonna get that static generated from it bouncing off the house. Exactly, Very those, cool. those weird interference and, problems. And that works at all angles too, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. No matter how you hold it, you get the same output. So you can bank, and you're still gonna have the exact same signal. So no matter how you're gonna perform in there, it's gonna give you a solid signal. Very cool, and this Great. is homemade. You don't have to buy this either. No, you can buy it now, but uh, you can make it yourself. It, this is quite a more cumbersome to make than a dipole antenna, but okay. it's well worth the effort. Very cool. All right, so basically, uh, building a tricopter FPV plane, circular polarized is the way to go. That's yeah. going to be your most solid, reliable link. Definitely. Okay, Very to cool. slow things down and back up a little bit, you have your standard ones here, but the problem is when they have good reception like this, but it's when you get a turn is when you get like a small area that it connects, right? Exactly. Okay, and that's why you have this guy because he sends out, this is the clover. Ah, it's a four leaf clover. Uh, it sends out a corkscrew signal so yeah. that no matter which way you're turning, you're all good. Exactly, is that right? you, okay. you got it. I got good, it. Good, good job, job. brother. Yeah. All right, move on. So, so David, I, I see two uh, circularized polarized antennas. 
or circular polarized antennas, and they're two different sizes. What's up with that? It's good for two different sized planes. Gosh. Is that what it is? No, Bigger no. planes, smaller planes. No, not that. exactly. It's actually two different frequency bands. So this is made for 900 megahertz and this is made for 1.2 gigahertz. Well, very cool. So yeah. we're both wrong, Josh. Yeah, sorry. It happens. It happens once in a while. Yeah. yeah. This is actually made for 1.2 gigahertz. So th this and this goes together really gotcha. good. Gotcha. Gotcha. They're best friends. Yeah. yeah. What, what's up with the... Uh... Yeah, what is this? Yeah, it's an uh, inverted V. Ah. It's a dipole antenna with a twist. Wow. Yeah. I like the way you said that. Yeah. Uh, is actually, that a slogan? Yeah, it's actually IB Crazy on RC groups. Is you be what? IB, IB Crazy? You are? No, you are. Like, awkward. Um, <laughs> <laughs> IB Crazy actually uh, got this out to the community. Mm -hmm. He wrote really good like tutorials how to do it explaining how and why and everything thank you abby crazy yeah you you're sound a good trustworthy guy. but okay yeah so this is a dipole antenna no no it's a dipole a dipole yeah it sounds like something dirty when you say it oh sorry sorry dipole. dipole this is a dipole antenna and yeah and you have two linear antennas yeah uh, built it, into one is that correct or no actually it's just a linear antenna the this design has one of the legs so to speak the parts uh, connected to ground, the shielding here. Okay. And the other part is connected straight to the signal wire. Okay. So the antenna is not going to be active until it gets out here. And it's it's balanced, so to speak. You have the same length here and here, so mm. it's balanced. And this is not actually normal antennas. If you just have the whip, and not have this leg, it's going to be so sensitive to the surroundings and grounds and stuff. So mm. this makes it better. This is a super good antenna to start with. Okay. It's so easy to make. It's just two lengths of wire and you're done. Cool. Check out the thread on RC Groups. And Check you, it out guys, yeah, I'm gonna. You get all the dimension you need and all angles and stuff. Very and, cool. Yeah, you're gonna understand why. Very okay? cool. And I see you brought your external hard drive as well. No, actually it's a patch antenna. Okay. It's a linear polarized counterpart of these antennas, mm. more or less. This is actually made for 2.4 gigahertz, and it's originally made for Wi-Fi antennas, mm -hmm. uh, Wi-Fi systems. So it's not as good as the antennas we use for our flying, but it's good enough. Mm -hmm. So if you patch, uh, if you match that up with this antenna, mm -hmm. you're gonna get good range, good performance for the least amount of work. Okay. And that is also uh, directional, correct? Yes, it is. So you don't want to fly behind yourself. Exactly. That's going to have a funnel uh, in front of it. So keep in your reception area. Cool. And so. the closer you get to you, obviously, the more critical it is. So when you come in to land, don't try to land off in behind you because uh, it'll turn off on you. Yeah. All in all, FPV flying is a really great thing to, to go into and especially taking time to get your antennas right so you don't lose your signal. Obviously, you lose your signal, you're going to have a lot more difficult time flying the airplane. Yes. And this is a good opportunity whenever you're testing these, strongly recommend have a spotter looking at your plane visually uh, with a buddy box. And that way, if you lose signal, you can go ahead and have your buddy pick up on it and it'll save your plane. So when you're testing these out for the first time, especially if you make your own, uh, definitely a good idea to find out where you're, your good range and how far you can go first. Okay, great. great. Yep. All right, well, thanks for being on the show, David. Yeah, sure. thanks, David. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. The more subscriptions we get, the more stuff we'll be able to do, the more cool stuff you'll be able to watch. Yep. So uh, thank you, Hobby King, for sponsoring this episode, and we'll see you later. Now, you need to put that back on an airplane. Yeah, gotcha. let's go flat. This one? Let's do it. Yeah. Okay, here, Josh, take your dipple. <laughs> All right. Very, very simple construction, but let me just go over a brief thing. The tail feathers are going to be glued on. It actually includes the glue for it, and it works good. And uh, the wings actually are two-piece wings that interlock, and it has a uh, spar in the center that uh, meets it. Now this is a four-channel airplane, so you're gonna have some aileron wires from the servos to route in there, but it's very, very simple because the uh, cockpit's so easy to access. You can stick your hand in there, pull the wires out, easy as pie. Cool. Matter of fact, you're gonna put this one together. Yeah. Ready? I'm excited about it. Let's do it. Let's do it.